Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at uh, particle systems again, but in this time, instead of just looking at regular particles, and this one has uh, this object attached to it, uh, we're going to actually control the particle direction, and that way we can make the particles go whatever way we want, and the way we do that is with keyed particles. So let's go see at this particular particle system set up on this plane here. It just has... 594 particles. It's got a small lifetime. We can crank that up a little bit. All right, like that. And then down here, I'm emitting the face, emitting the particles from the face of it in a perpendicular direction. And by default, it's set at Newtonian. So what we want to do to be able to use keyed particles, we actually have it have to have at least two particle systems. So I have another plane over here. We'll give it a little bit of a color. All right, so we can see it better. And then we're going to give this a particle system as well. So I'll add a particle system to this. I'll give it a lifetime. Emit the, and then I'll s kick these guys out like this. So now we have two of them just spitting particles out. Not much. But now this is named plane.003, this is plane.004. So the way to make this work is they both have to be keyed particle systems instead of Newtonian. So I'll come down here and I'll make this one keyed. And you notice when you do keyed, you know, it does nothing and you go, well, what's that good for? So I'll go over here and I make this one keyed like this. Well, somehow you have to make this connect to that. And the way you do it is you have these keys down here. And I kind of look at them like this is your main particle system and this is the target that you want to head towards so the target in this case is plane.004 so I'll come down here and find plane.004 and suddenly it's already heading towards it like that so even though it's shooting up it's directing it towards that now you can control this by the lifetime and the number of particles things like that let's actually you actually only need a couple you only you actually need one particle actually you can't have zero particles but now watch the lifetime how it affects it way up here and way down there let's see if I get it just right let me see if I get this over here I'll move this up maybe I move this up I can get it better like that so I see what's doing it's actually going down and bouncing onto the other underside of it like that All right, so I had this one turned around like this so already you see the effect that it gives so if I twist this 180 RY 180 should come right in on the top of it and it does so this is really cool whoops hang on but I do I did RY 180 alright so like that though I actually like the other effects so we'll control Z it like this and then it runs down and picks it up like this. Now the cool thing is that once you have them going from one particle system to the other, actually let me let me give this one more life. Let's see if it continues on. Yokes. Something about this lifetime. Let's see. I will do it right about there. But now once it's going. Like this, then you can actually just move these things around. So now this, just by moving it, the particle system follows. Very nice, right? So then this kind of stuff you see in the commercials. But of course, then it all comes down to really how well you, you know, texture your images, your things like that. That's really what comes into play. But this is a powerful technique. And then that's not the only thing you can do with them, of course. Then you should be able to add another particle system to the scene from this one to another one. Let's do that. Let's put one here. Let's add another plane like this. There. Scale it up just a little bit. Mm. Got to give it a color so I can see it. Let's see. We'll make it blue. Mm. can barely see it. Not enough light in the scene. All right. We'll get enough light. Shift E put a light over there so I can see it. Alright, and then it also has to have a particle system to it as well. So we'll add a particle system to this one. And we also it also has to be keyed. So now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make this one go from here to there. Okay, so this is going to be plane dot zero zero four and this is plane dot zero zero two. So that's going to be it starts there. This should go to plane dot zero zero two. Where is that? Oh no, I said that's plane dot. 
how'd that be how was that plane for was a plane down zero zero two how'd that get to be later in the scene I don't know <laughs> okay so all right so this is plane four this is going to be plane two there okay so now this one's going to that one and that one's going to that one all right so then once you have them in here then you should be able to animate these things because it's the same thing this one wants to go there but he's dynamic too as well and you can just move them around on the fly like that all right well i hope that gets you started with these things because they're powerful and they're cool and um yeah then you can just attach whatever object in this case i have the sphere attached to this one but i don't have anything attached to this one yet but then you can dynamically change these, and uh, yeah, it's a great, great little tool. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.